guys all the time. It's just like it don't stop. And it's just like everything, everything that I think is normal it, it is a little kind of scandalous. Mm -hmm. And it's just like some people might think I'm doing it for attention, but I just do it because that's how I really feel. Like for Hi guys, excuse me, I'm so sick. But I am Y Morgan. And this week we're gonna talk about Jill Scott's wedding. I'm so excited for her. She recently just got married to her longtime boyfriend. And his name, don't you take his name right now, everything in front of me. But he's going by the name of Mike Dobson. I shouldn't say going by the name of Mike Dobson, but his, he's Mike Dobson, her longtime boyfriend. And she got married this past Saturday. So congratulations to Jill Scott. We always have to start off on like a good note. Um, I also want to touch bases on Jesse Williams. Jesse Williams is an actor, and he plays on Shonda Rhimes' TV show, um, Grey's Anatomy. And he was really, really amazing last night. Last night was the BC Awards, and he went out there, and he just, like, gave everybody, gave everybody, like, good knowledge. Like, let everybody know, like, as black people, this is how we have to stand together. This is what we're going against, and this is the situation of it all. And he gave a lot of words of encouragement, and it was really, really good. And I'm really proud. I'm really happy to see that somebody who don't necessarily look black but have enough to say, like, hey, guys, like, y'all need to chill out. Y'all need to do all of this. Like, we need to come together as a race, and I respect that, honestly. So um, shout out to Jesse Williams. And then I also want to touch on Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar. Now, I know it's not my place for me to say – um, for me to say like, oh, you know, Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar they did a really good job, yada yada, because I didn't see it. But from what I've read and what I've like kind of like sketched, that everyone loved their performance and that it came out really, really good. So shout out to Beyonce and Kendrick, because honestly, in the back of my mind, I was like, Beyonce is getting too big for BET Awards, and I'm not quite sure if I'm the only one who feels like this, but the BET Awards is just kind of getting too overrated. Um, I think now they just do too much. And it's not the same BET Awards that we knew. Well, I knew when I was a kid. I remember being so excited just to watch it. And it used to be like this big deal. And they used to just like glorify like black entertainment. And now it's just like they just do too much. It's like I don't know who they think they're aiming for or who they think they're supposed to be looking like. But it's just not the same BET Awards that I knew when I was a kid. So we're going to touch on that. I mean... I've already just touched on it. So, BT, that's my opinion. If you don't like it, oh well. Um, I also want to touch on YG and Cardi B. Um, I want to shout both of them out. YG won because I'm really, 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 really proud of your new album. Guys, the album stands out more than anything I could ever imagine. He um, touches on politics and he touches on how he feels that. Black people and Mech Hispanics need to come together because us together, we're just, like, amazing. And um, we can't knock each other down. We need to lift each other up. And we just need to look forward. So I love that. I love, love, love that. The fact that YG can talk to, you know, people who look like him, people who are re who's relatable to him. And I think that's a, sometimes that's what a lot of people forget is that um, they're not gangster rappers. They're not, they're not trying to sit there and promote gang violence. That's not it. Only thing they can do and talk to is the people who can relate to them. So I re I totally respect you. I totally respect the, this new album. Um, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm so excited that it takes somebody like you who can actually talk to people who is relatable to you. Because a lot of people will get to that point and forget where they came from. Like Forget that they just didn't... That they're not... that Because they're not a product of their environment anymore that they had to turn their back. So, congratulations to you. I love that, love that, love, love, love that. And we also want to talk on Cardi B. Cardi B. Yeah. I'm 22, guys. She's 23. Finally. And I respect you so much for the simple fact that when you look on Instagram, I'm kind of one of those type of people who like, I don't really like Instagram. I'm more of a Snapchat type of person because I can actually get to know who you are and I'm seeing what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think all that is really cool. But um, your 
interview with Hot 97 was amazing. I love the strip your club get worse. And every year, you're going to see little by little that you see the same guys over and over. And they're going to get tired of you. And if you don't make an investment or if you don't get out of this, you're going to be here stuck. And it's going to be worse if you have kids. Like, how can a, a person that never dealt with that is going to tell me not to do that? You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, you know, a lot of girls see social media and they see, like, you know, that the strippers and the bar pretend that they're getting that money. And it's just like... You don't get that money all the time, and it's like it's you not uplifting women. I, I like the fact that you ex just the same thing. Like I said, well, YG, you're talking to people who you can relate to, and because so, we want to make sure that we give you all the, we want to give you the praise. Like we, I want to tell you doing a good job. So you go, girl, you go. Don't let nobody judge you. Your teeth look amazing. I'm so happy that you got them done. Not saying that you look bad before, but now, girl, you bomb, and I got to give you the, the your props for that. So you know, there you go, Cardi B. And um, I also want to touch on this. Muhammad Ali's um, daughter, Layla Ali, she gave her tribute to her father. And she almost teared up like you caught it. But she was so pretty. I forgot how pretty you were. Like, she's so gorgeous. So thank you, Miss Layla Ali, for taking um, the initiative. I guess for giving us the opportunity to just tell us how you feel and how grateful you and your eight siblings are. Um, about how America is a response back to your father. We all know that Muhammad Ali was a great, great, great boxer. And he was even more than a boxer. He was an icon. And he encouraged and he uplifted people. So we just want to tell you thank you because I know it may be kind of too soon and I don't know how it feels to lose a father. But um, I can only imagine. And he took that opportunity to let us know how much you respected that. So thank you. Okay, guys, so now let's get into what's going on in my life. So, guys, I just came back from this Christian camp. And when I mean it was amazing, it was so amazing. It was really, really good. Um, I was a chaperone for, like, 14 girls. And we was at Stony Creek Ranch because right now I'm in, like, Houston. So, because I'm in Houston, um, I go to Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. Woo, woo, my pastor is Pastor Cosby. And it was like me and maybe like five others. So it was six of us all together. And we were chaperones. And the kids were so amazing. I have 14 girls between the ages of 9 and 11. And y'all, when I mean I'm so tired, I definitely know I don't want to be a teacher. Only thing I heard all weekend was, well, from Wednesday to Saturday was, Miss Morgan, Miss Morgan, Miss Morgan. But it's a, it's a pleasure to be able to say that you made it in a, a, an effect in a little kid's life. Like, I'm thinking back when I was 9 to 11. And who I looked up to, like, that's probably the most enjoyable thing is to be, I guess, somebody's, I don't want to say idol, but for somebody to look up to you, that's really, really cool. So, thank you guys, all 14 of you guys, for allowing me to be able to help guide and lead you guys and help you guys get closer to Christ. Because at the end of the day, guys, I don't care where I'm at, how I get here, but God is who's guiding and leading me. So, um, I have to give him all the praise and the glory for allowing me to be a great chaperone on this for the last four, well, I guess for those four days. Also, um, yesterday, I went to, uh, I'm not, my mind just went completely um, blank right now, so excuse me. Her name is, let me tell you guys, don't judge me, guys, because I definitely just forgot. And I'm not going to edit this out either because I just know that I kind of forgot. Miracle, that's her name. Um, I think everybody knows her from, like, Drake Minjins are her songs, stuff like that. Y'all, she had such an amazing, like, studio lash. Like, she, I didn't, she launched her eyelashes yesterday, and it was so good. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you guys pictures and all this other stuff. I didn't take any video, but I am going to show you some pictures that went on doing, um, you know, her thing. I also want to make sure that I shout out um, Color, du Color Du Jour. I believe that's her name. Color Du Jour. That's where they had um, the lash lunch at. It was really, really good. Her place is fabulous, honey. You did such a good job. You was so pretty little. She was pregnant, guys, so she looked so cute. And, um, but before... You just looking cute was amazing, but your shop was, oh my God. Um, I want to say it had the decorations and her details 
were amazing and I noticed it. I really did notice it. One thing that I love and I noticed it all throughout your shop was that she had like jars full of water and a flower steam on top. It was just floating. So um, I want to tell you that I noticed that. It was just so cute. She had fleeky. She had like little slogans all throughout her um, shop and I thought that was really nice. She had pretty big mirrors with like the glow light around it. It kind of it reminded you like of a big loony but it was a mirror so it was just really really pretty the room that um miracle galore did her her um her tutorial because she did like a makeup tutorial how to turn, how to put on makeup i love the fact that you made sure that you told us like hey i'm not a makeup artist but and i may not know the correct terminology for it but this is how i do my makeup and i completely loved you for that because you did such an amazing job like you did an awesome job um, me personally, I don't wear makeup. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably tell by this morning. I'm kind of sick though, so that's neither here nor there. But I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup, one, because my skin is really, really sensitive. And two, because I just don't need it. I mean, I don't want to be like, oh, my skin is just so bomb. And I'm just so pretty that I don't have to use any makeup. No, that's not it. I just don't need any makeup. I just don't put makeup on because, um, my skin is just too sensitive. And I actually care about my skin before I put on some layers of layers of makeup. And my skin comes back and it's 10 times worse. So, I mean, shout out to the people who can't wear makeup because that's me. So, um, that's that. But I do wear urisin, guys. I know y'all probably thinking like, urisin? Yeah, guys, the lotion. Urisin, the lotion. It gives me the perfect glow. Some eyeliner. You know, some eyeliner mascara, girl, you good. So, that's me. That's me. That's me. And, um, yeah. So, I just want to tell everybody that I had a great little weekend. Shout out to Miracle Galore. And... Hello du jour. They all they also had another vlogger that was there. Um, I can't tell you her name because I she didn't give me her name and I can't think of it off the top of my head. So but she was really, really pretty. She had like blonde hair, a little, you know, finger roll, and it was cute. I thought she was really, really cute. And she gave me some good advice. So we're just gonna this is like my first vlog, I guess you can say. But if you follow me on blog on my blog, which is like Morgan, then you guys should be able to I hopefully you guys will love it now. Um of course I'm still gonna vlog, I'm still gonna write, I'm still gonna tell you like, hey, this is my opinion, this is what's going on, and this is that. But I think I'm gonna start talking to you guys directly. I'm a might as well, why not? You know? But that's that and I enjoyed you guys. And I'll talk to you guys next Monday.